welcome to my channel this is Gloria Parra today for simple stories and today friends I have the most awesome collection here I'm sure you've seen it already but this collection has my heart I rarely get two of everything but for this collection I went crazy I got my design team stuff and I ordered some more from a cherry on top so yeah this collection has me excited and I am sure everyone needs it and lots of it because it's going to be really fun to create with it. So it's called Crafty Things and it's what we scrapbookers love. It's a collection filled of everything we love buying, we love creating with. So yeah, let me give you a, a little peek at what's in this collection. So this was created by Kelly Banks, which is a fabulous designer. We, I love this paper. I just need to fussy cut all this little hoops. We get, look at this striped one. We get the Let's Crafty on black, the beautiful words, beautiful striped paper, some florals at the, down there. We get the grid, the yellow grid, florals. This brush is awesome. We get lots of brushes fun colorful lines look at this pattern hearts they always include something fun like this Kelly always does it I love this pattern I'm sure it reminds you of a famous brand <laughs> a luxury brand I love this pattern paper it's like you get to color it and create something so we we need to color it together my friend Andrea Lake was was telling us that we should get together and we should color it and see the fun pattern that reveals there. So lots of pattern paper, lots of tags, the cut parts. I love the Stanley here. I have the same pink Stanley, so yeah. Oh, this, this floral, I'll be using this floral today. I love this journaling tags here. Just an awesome collection awesome the colors I love the colors and and all the designs in it so here we have all the sticker sheet and really fast I want to show you the fun chipboards we get little little products friends we get products the simple stories products are here and it has foil it has the gold foil in all the collections so that's awesome one of my favorite products from Simple Stories are their chipboard frames. Look at that one. Super fun. So yeah, I went crazy and bought two of everything. Oh, this is the, the big bits. Look at this, friends. Look at this. This is just perfection. So many possibilities. Look at the scrap, scrap box, I believe it is. Just awesome. You just need it. Believe me. Trust in me. <laughs> okay. Here we get florals with the foil, the gold foil letters. These are so in. I've bought several for my daughter. We get the, the big ephemeras. Chipboards. Just awesome. Awesome, awesome products, friend. So let's start creating with it. I have a fun layout in mind that we will create together. Okay, friends, let's start our layout. And I'm gonna start with this three pattern papers. I just fell in love with this dried paper as soon as I saw it. It's just pure eye candy. And I just love all the combination of colors. So I chose this like small print floral, the striped and the grid yellow pattern paper. I have two photos of me just selfies playing around with my tools, with my crop and aisle, my scissor. And I was just so happy to have received my Scrap and Learn t-shirts. If you don't know what Scrap and Learn is, this is the crafty community that I have created with two friends, Andrea Lake and Guia de Manualidades. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. But we are so happy, proud, excited for this craft community. And I want to document that and document 
with this collection using my favorite tools, my favorite things. So yeah, let's start with that. So my layout design for this is going to be kind of a half and half layout, but this will be kind of a three third layout. And it's e very easy to divide your layout this way. So this is seven inch, the yellow piece of pattern paper. And I have a half an inch border here, the colorful border. And I love having something that unites the two pattern papers whenever I, I create this kind of layout. Okay, so I'm going to have that there. And I'm going to have my two photos down here. My photos were printed at three by four inches. I love to use the Project Life app to put two three by fours side by side on a four by six photo paper. So that's the easiest way I have found to print it. You can also resize your photos on Photoshop, on Lightroom, but this is just a very easy way to put two photos on a four by six. Okay, so check that app out. It's free. If you, you just want to print your photos and it has a bunch of other layouts like to include six photos on a four by six, etc. Okay, so let's create our base first and let's adhere that. Okay, if you want to save some patterned paper, you can just cut this one and add it to a white cardstock. That way you don't use up this side that won't be seen. But since I told you I ordered more patterned paper and more embellishments. So yeah, I have a lot, friends. I have a lot from this collection. Sorry. So like I was telling you, I won't be running out of this collection anytime soon. And I'm so happy for that. So... If you love a collection that much and you think you're going to use it, just get, get a little extra. That way you're not afraid of using it and just enjoy putting layouts, mini albums together. This is just, just an amazing collection, friends. I can't stress that enough. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be. On this side, my first idea was to use all this bunch of beautiful hoops. I think they are called embroidery hoops, if I'm not wrong. But I love that some of them have sayings, have initials, have, have potential to layer up some, some embellishment. So that was my first idea. And I brought in one from the chipboard stickers that I loved and I want to have it like like be in the middle since it's different a different texture a different finish I thought it would be look it would look really good there okay so I'm gonna I chose three big hoops and I'm creating like a visual triangle here with my big hoops and I'm gonna create a smaller I'm going to bring in smaller hoops and just work things around. Okay, so my idea is to have, let's start with the three big hoops. At first, like I told you, I was just going to have circles all around my grid, my yellow grid pattern paper. But then I found some very fun embellishments on my ephemera pack, on my bits and pieces pack. And I thought, no, I... I will bring everything I love on this side. So I'm going to bring in buttons. I'm going to bring this nice like banner. I have a bunch of the little things that I love. I use my printer almost daily. So I want my printer here. You have, if you love die cutting on your electronic machine, you have beautiful machines there that you could use and you could make this layout a layout of your favorites the things that you use the most okay i love using my 
my Big Shot. That's my favorite, one of my favorite tools. So yeah, I had to include it here. And I'm gonna have that. I also brought in the typewriter machine that I have here on the back where I'm sitting. I have my pink We Are Memory typewriter, so I want to have that. That reminds me of my space. I don't use it that much, but it's a very important piece of my scrap room. I also want to bring like this crafty corner down here. And you just look around your ephemera packs and see what you love and what you, what speaks to you, right? So let's bring in our photo here. And that way we can see where we're missing some things. We can bring in more hoops. Okay, friends, this is what I have. I moved around some things. That way I wouldn't bore you. I found this beautiful chipboard sticker that has the foil. It's just really cute. I am, I live for my planner. I live by my planner. So a planner had to be on my favorites. Okay, so I switched the typewriter for this chipboard camera as well. Because, of course, we love photos, right? And, yeah, I think that looks better because it's a little smaller. And I brought in some brushes and just a little floral. And now we have to bring balance to this side because we have this side really heavy and we want to bring some balance here. So we can use some florals <laughs> to create balance. We can tuck it under our pictures. For my journaling, I want to bring up here this journaling piece from the journal bits, and that will go up here, okay? The idea for my title is to use this crafty chipboard title, and I had two fun titles on mind, in mind. I had, I'm crafty and I know it, Instead of the song, I'm sexy and I know it. So that was one option to have here. I'm crafty and I know it. Or the other option is in my crafty era. If you have been around my channel for a bit, you know that we are Swifties here. We are huge Taylor Swift fans. And that would be very fun to, to have the crafty era on a, on a layout. Okay, friends, I've gone ahead and chosen all my little embellishments to create the right side of my layout. And I just want to zoom in a little and show you how beautiful that looks. I haven't adhered all of them yet, but I've gone ahead and added some florals on some little corners just to tie all the florals in. We have to create our cluster here, our title, our journaling, but I have a big floral here. I love the gold accents. This just makes your eye look at all the little shiny things. I'm not sure if you get to see it, but it's just amazing. It's just beautiful in person. So yeah, go ahead and just curl up a little those those florals, I want to show you how I do them. If you haven't seen me doing them, I just play with them a little without pinching them, but just fold, folding them up. Or you can use a pencil and give them some, some life. They look so much nicer when that they have that texture. Okay, so we can go ahead and adhere all of those. I I just added a little adhesive on my photo so I could have them stuck down a little, but I was thinking of adding a little frame to them, maybe with this pattern of the six by eight pattern paper. You got tons of beautiful designs here, but I want something a little more, like more muted. 
since I have so much going on here. Okay, I used on some of my embellishments, I used the one millimeter foam adhesive. I love the scrapbook.com one and on others, the two millimeter. That way we create the that fun dimension and some of them, I will adhere them flat like this, this little guy here. I just love how this is looking, friends. I love that I have everything I love here. Friends, I've decided to try something. I just love this chipboard frame so much that I had to use it. So I reprinted my photo. I had this three by four photo of me with a crop a dial. So I reprinted it at three and a half by five and a half. And I'm gonna bring that chipboard frame here besides my photo holding my, my scissor. So I love the balance. I love how heavy this chipboard frame is and it balances a little the right with the left, right? So that's what I like about this chipboard frame. And now I'm gonna bring in some little things that I, my title. So I told you I had the, in my crafty era as, as a possible title. So I went ahead and cut from the sticker book that it has an, an, a gorgeous alphabet. I cut in my, whenever I use stickers from this sticker book, I like backing them up on cardstock because they're a little thin for my taste. But you know, this sticker book, I just love getting this from Simple Stories. They get tons, tons of possibilities here. You get so much, but I like backing them up with some cardstock and fussy cutting. So I had this in my crafty era as my title, but I, something doesn't quite work here because I don't like the letters on top of my frame. I don't like the letters in the middle of the frame. So I've got another another possibility here. So I have my era word and what I was thinking of doing, yeah. bringing the crafty a little up, having my era here. Your title could be, could perfectly be crafty era. Or I was thinking of bringing the hello foam sticker for, from the sticker sheet. So you could and placing that here. So, hello, crafty era. I think that works really nice. Okay, for my title, I will use, for my chipboard title, I will use the two millimeter foam sticker. That way I can raise it up a little because I, I want it to be like a little overlapping the chipboard frame. So let's go ahead and I will use this one that's a little thinner because I only will add foam to the bottom of the crafty word. So from the half to the bottom or the bottom half. Okay, so now I have my adhesive on my bottom section of the word, of the crafty word. And now let's peel everything off. And don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying this video. Don't forget to press the like button. That helps us tons. I love reading your messages. So if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, I would love to read you and get to, to know you a little. Okay, so let's center this crafty word here, our arrow word there. I think I'm going to take it a little down. Yeah, I'm trying not to press it yet until I'm very sure of, yeah, I need to put this little guy here and I'm going to add some double-sided adhesive. Let's tuck it. Yeah, I'm going to need some foam in this corner as well. That way it doesn't bend down. 
So we have our title. Hello, Crafty Era. Because this is a Crafty Era for me. I think I'm creating more than I have ever done. I'm usually creating two or three layouts a week. So yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> so I'm in my Crafty Era, friends. And we can bring the little, my faves from the journaling bits and pieces. We have tons of of possibilities here. You just need to choose whichever you like best. I'm not sure if I want to cover the multicolor, but maybe we can do something like that. If you have lots to say, you can do like that. That looks nice, or you can have, I wouldn't add more, like I would add something that's not heavy there because we have so much here and so much here. So I think that looks good. And that's it friends. I think we're basically done. We can go ahead and add some little small, small foam stickers or you can add enamel dots if you wish to add some more. I think I like it like that. And I will add some still shots at the end so you see the final layout. And thank you so much for stopping by, for watching this video. It was a pleasure to create with you. And until the next time, don't forget to subscribe and press like, that like button. Thank you very much. This was Gloria Parra for Simple Stories. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.